The fabrics of modern society is increasingly interconnected in a globalized world. The global goals represent humanity's basic rights. We can no longer ignore our actions as they impact the livelihoods of everyone in this global village. We need a collective stewardship of the entire planet if we're going to succeed with the world economy in the future. We have a problem with agility. We have the problem of getting at innovative and diverse ideas quickly enough, knowing how to implement those ideas, and above all, to test them. With technology and smart partnerships, we can create innovative solutions to tackle the world's interconnected problems. I am hopeful that we are going to be able to eradicate hunger within our life generations. Technology is giving us for the first time in history that opportunity to be very specific about changing the way that we manufacture and distribute food. If we're serious about having lasting business in the world economy, then there's no such thing as success with linear economic models. We should invest in more businesses that actually have sustainability at the core of what they do. Whether it's in boardrooms or whether it's in a village, essentially women are being excluded from the conversation across the board. We have a lot of work to do. We can never reach social justice or any form of social development in that case by not addressing discrimination based on gender. I believe that it's critically important to bring in more diversity because if you look at the world, the conflicts that, that are happening are not because of nationalities. They're because of haves and have-nots. The scale is just staggering, you know, 60 million people displaced, 20 million plus refugees. It's never happened since the Second World War. When you have a country that is falling apart, this is not because you choose to have a better job and then start walking. This is because if you don't leave your house and your city, you're going to be dead. Coming from an island and seeing the recent effects of Hurricane Irma, infrastructural damage is so bad. And where you hear like an island of Barbuda where 90% of the population is now homeless, where you have climate refugees. And I think these are very important aspects that need to be taken into global dialogue. One of the biggest lessons from the Paris Agreement is that we need technology and smart partnerships to create innovative solutions to these problems. I deeply believe in this idea of cross-fertilization. Good ideas come less from inside brilliant people's heads and more from seeing patterns. We have to think about things quite a bit differently. That's why I'm so excited about what's happening right here at the World Economic Forum, to be able to have a multi-stakeholder dialogue around the fourth industrial revolution. My hope is that we have a robust discussion for how this can truly help our world solve some of the hard-pressed challenges that we have today. The world has changed. If we are not innovative, if we're not creative enough, it will be very difficult to survive in this century. This is a space to encourage, support, and empower innovative solutions to tackle the world's most pressing challenges. This is your platform for action.